Hi 3D Printing World, it's Michael here from Go Engineer, and I have a quick tech tip, and it, it's quick, about finishing off clear polyjet parts off a of Stratasys printer. Now, Stratasys does offer a glossy mode, which will give you a nice polished surface to the upward facing surfaces on a polyjet part. But anywhere where the support contacts a part, namely a clear part, it will leave a slight imperfection that will cause a foggy nature. Okay, case in point. Foggy nature to a part. This is a clear piece. Now, one of the options with a part like this is to go through and simply sand and polish it. And through sanding and polishing it, you can get a really nice finish on that part. But it can be a little extra work. Another option around going through the sanding and polishing technique is to simply just grab some clear spray paint and just spray the part. Now, believe it or not, this entire piece was just painted. There was no sanding and polishing to this whatsoever. It took me about six coats, but six coats of clear spray paint got this dragon to look like crystal, and I didn't have to even get sandpaper out to give it that sort of a finish. No buffing wheel, no mess, quick paint, wham! Awesome looking part. Let me show you how to do this real quick. Pop on down here. Okay, so real quick. <clears throat> couple of reflectors. If you notice on the left, you can actually see the internal geometry a little bit clearer on this part than you can on this one. Now this part has been buffed and polished on the top surface to give it that sheen, but if we simply slide this aside, take some clear spray paint, give it a quick coat, shiny, shiny, and it can be that fast. Let's do it one more time. Different part. If you look at the base of this model right here, glossy finish on the top, matte finish on the bottom. Now on the bottom surfaces, you can't really see into the part. But again, taking your spray paint, giving it a quick coat, voila. It gets rid of all those little imperfections, fills them in, and gives you a clear view inside the part. And it is that fast and that easy. Now just a quick note to be fully transparent. As I mentioned, the Dragon took me about six coats to get it to be really glossy clear. Notice that we started the process here. Once the paint started to dry, it did fill in a little bit. This area is great. So we're gonna have to continually adding coats to get it thick enough to fill in all those little pores. So I didn't want you to think, because when you do this, when you hit it real quick with the paint, it looks like it's going to be just perfectly clear and stay that way. And again, it will, but it'll take a couple of coats to get it to that point. So again, just don't want to play any games. I want to show you exactly the process you're going to go through. But just note, as after a couple of coats, you will be able to get it to have a really nice clear finish. Again, like the Dragon, it's just going to take more than once. Okay, so hopefully that shows you that in a matter of seconds, you can take a clear part with a matte finish to it and start to enhance it with a really nice polished, true clear finish simply by adding paint. Hopefully that helps out with you a little bit on your polyjet parts. If you have any other questions, please follow us at GoEngineer.com, like and subscribe to this video, and thanks for spending a little more time with me today. Thanks. Bye.